Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rata, and I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video is all about antioxidants. How do you choose the right one? What do they do? Are they a gimmick? Are they really that important? And the classic mistakes that get made specifically for skin of color. So the reason why this whole channel exists is because skin of color is quite different to Caucasian skin. The reason being that we, our skin can't tolerate the level of damage or abrasion that Caucasian skin can handle. So for us, for example, I always say one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. This doesn't happen to Caucasian skin. The reason is that our melanocytes are large and they're easily triggered. This means that we need to understand how to treat our skin Unfortunately, the vast majority of skincare was designed for Caucasian skin, which is why it's more important than ever for us to be educated and empowered when it comes to our skincare. Now, recently I bumped into um, a friend and um, at the gym and she said to me, um, Venita, do you know what? I'm just, I've just turned 40 and I'm completely new to skincare and I really don't even know which antioxidants to buy. How do I put them together? Which ones should I avoid? And I thought, you know what? This is a perfect video for people who are just starting out it can be so confusing, so overwhelming antioxidants and um, and I just don't think there really is enough help for us. So today's video is should hopefully break down the key antioxidants that are available, the forms that they're in, how to combine them and then my favourite products that are on the market to make it as easy as possible for you. If that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up, let's dive right in. So first of all, what are antioxidants and what exactly is happening to the skin on a daily basis? So when you go outside, the second you step outside, UV hits your skin. It doesn't matter if it's cloudy, it doesn't matter if it's raining, it doesn't matter if it's winter. UV hits the skin. When UV rays hit the skin, it knocks electrons out of orbit. So you now have these skin cells, these molecules um, in your skin which have lost electrons. Now I don't know if you remember back to your chemistry but when your molecules lose electrons they go berserk. They go absolutely nuts and they start to steal electrons from all the surrounding skin cells around it and that then creates a chain of disaster because what's just happened is that you are now creating an environment which is damaging collagen and leading to premature aging. So how do we protect ourselves from this? Well, first of all, of course, you want to be wearing your SPF 50. That really is key. If you're not wearing SPF 50, there's no point watching the rest of this video because there's no actives in the world that's gonna help your skin if you're not wearing your SPF 50. So number one, we want to stop UV from hitting the skin and SPF 50 broad spectrum is your best option. I always used to get told, but Dr. V, how do we get a mineral sunscreen that has no white cast? And I made it for you, so hopefully there should be no more excuses on wearing your sunscreen. This is what it looks like on the skin, and I'm just going to rub it in so you can see that it has no white cast. I'm not saying to get this one, I'm just saying that there are mineral sunscreens now without white cast, and so there's no excuse for you to not be blocking UV from hitting your skin. And the second thing that you need to do is to use antioxidants because antioxidants are very charitable. What they do is they donate their electrons to these crazy molecules in the skin that have lost their electrons and they stabilize them. They calm the whole situation down and they save your skin. So antioxidants are my second favorite product after sunscreen for everybody. Now, there are many different reasons for free radicals forming on the skin. Number one we've spoken about is UV. Number two is pollution. You're likely to age faster. Your face is likely to age faster when you, if you live in the city compared to if you lived in the countryside. So pollution really is not our friend. And the third reason is blue light. So honestly, the amount that we are on our computers and our phones nowadays that energy is also bombarding our skin and leading to free radicals. 
So free radicals lead to something called oxidative stress on our skin. It's a stress, and that's the most important word here. And the effects of this stress are premature aging. So it reduces elasticity of the skin. It leads to more pigmentation. It leads to dull, dry skin and dehydrated skin. But there are many mistakes made with antioxidant serums and I'm going to go through them now so that you are fully aware. Antioxidants by nature are unstable. This means that we have to stabilize them. This means that they have to be in an airless pump. So a pump like this, so this is the Dr. Mita Rattan antioxidant serum, airless pump. No oxygen should be able to get through and no light should be able to get through. They must also be used in combination in order to stabilize them. So if you purchase an antioxidant serum that's in a pipette, for example, there's one very expensive one that's on the market that has light going through it and is not an airless pump, it's a pipette, you actually don't know how effective that product is because it's surrounded by oxygen, which is oxygenating the product. So save your money, don't waste your money on a product that is not in an airless pump in combination because there's no light to tell you whether or not the product is effective. You have to use your own judgment as to whether or not you think that product is still stable. So there are many different forms of antioxidants, which ones you choose. For me, the criteria is we want maximum efficacy with minimum irritation. So let's start off with vitamin C. Vitamin C has many different forms. Either we go with pure ascorbic acid, which is effective, but also irritating. It has a pH of less than three when your skin has a pH of about five. So you wouldn't, this isn't something I would tell you to wear, especially during the day. It's like putting an acid onto your skin and then going out into UV. I wouldn't recommend that for skin of color. If you do want to wear ascorbic acid, just make sure it's at nighttime. And I also wouldn't wear it every night because too much acid is essentially an exfoliator and over a longer period of time, it's going to damage your skin barrier and lead to sensitivity. So ascorbic acid is never my first choice, to be honest, um, for skin of color. I tend to recommend water-soluble sodium ascorbyl phosphate or magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, and fat-soluble tetrahexyl decal ascorbate is my absolute favorite because it is fat-soluble. It's the only fat-soluble vitamin C that goes into the dermis to stimulate collagen. So you would choose vitamin C if these are some of your concerns. Hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, skin texture, or wanting to brighten the skin. So for me, skin brightening and anti-hyperpigmentation are key as I tend to get melasma. And so vitamin C is just staple. And for me, I would always choose tetrahexyl decal ascorbate because I'm trying to stimulate collagen. So if, if your skin is similar to mine, for example, and it's anti-aging, anti-pigmentation, then choose tetrahexyl decal ascorbate. If your issue, for example, is um, you want an antioxidant and you have acne prone skin, then you might go for sodium ascorbyl phosphate because actually you might not be trying to stimulate collagen. You may be just trying to brighten the top layer of skin. Now, if you have dry skin that's sensitive, then I would opt for vitamin E. So vitamin E is hydrating and it's, and it's an anti-inflammatory. It works well in combination with vitamin A, C, and niacinamide. Niacinamide is vitamin B. So let's talk about niacinamide. It's the next antioxidant. Niacinamide is one of those products, one of those ingredients that really all of us should be using, especially for skin of color. So let me explain why. It's also known as vitamin B3. It has multiple benefits with minimal irritation profile. So it, for example, controls sebum. It minimizes your pores. It improves your skin barrier if you have any form of sensitivity and also helps with brightening the skin. So there are many benefits when it comes to niacinamide. Plus it pairs well with other antioxidants. The clinical studies for niacinamide have been done at the 2 to 5% ratio, which is why I put 2% niacinamide into Inzincable. Moving on to the next form of antioxidant, which is your vitamin A. So vitamin A is a family of ingredients and they are all different. They've got different efficacy and different irritation profiles. So let's start off with retinol palmitate. Retinol palmitate is my favorite for daily use for skin of color, which is why I put it into the antioxidant power serum. 
If you prefer retinol, then I would recommend you go at the 0.3 to 0.5% range. Uh, Paula's Choice does a really good one and apply it every other night, not daily, every other night on top of your moisturizer. Retinol can be quite irritating uh, because it is an alcohol after all and 1% tends to be too much for skin of color and unfortunately the vast majority of retinols on the market have been made at that 1% mark. My third, the third uh, vitamin A and the one that's my absolute favorite is retinaldehyde. Retinaldehyde is far more effective than retinol, but with no irritation. And in fact, I used retinaldehyde plus, te plus tetrahexyl decalascorbate in a body oil, an anti-aging body oil um, for anti-aging and stretch marks. Specifically, I just made it for myself. If you want me to release the anti-aging body oil, can you write down below? It's actually a whole series of products for anti-aging and literally made it for my body because after I had children my skin didn't snap back to the way it was before pregnancy and so I had to create a series in order to get my skin to a place that I was comfortable and happy. There's one little myth when it comes to vitamin A which ones to wear during the day and which ones to wear at night. Now all of them basically stop working as soon as you go out into the sun. So really it's about which one is causing the most amount of irritation. I probably wouldn't wear retinol and go out into the sun with skin of color. However, retinol palmitate or retinaldehyde, it just essentially just stops working and there's very minimal irritation profile with both those ingredients. So either of those, I don't mind you going out during the day with, but retinol, I just would sidestep and apply that one at night time. The next one is hyaluronic acid, which is an absolute keeper. We all should be using hyaluronic acid in our skincare. So hyaluronic acid, not only it does it, is it a water magnet and plumps up the top layer of skin, giving you that flawless finish, it also helps to mop up free radicals. So it's one of those that has minimum irritation, but maximum effect. So let me run you through the antioxidants that are on the market that are NAFE safe, no DNH alcohol, no fragrance, no essential oils, that are in combination, that are in an airless opaque pump, so I know that it's still effective. And actually there were very few, the vast majority um, mistakes have been made with the formulation of these antioxidant products. So the first one is Paula's Choice. Paula's Choice often gets it right. Um, I love the vast majority of Paula's Choice products. Not everything, I've done a whole video on Paula's Choice best and worst for skin of color, but most of the time they're spot on. The next one I like is a formula from Face, uh, Face Theory Resvira F. The antioxidant serum formula is great, but they made a mistake on packaging which is such a shame. They were so close. Often, um, Face Theory does get it right too. The next one I was quite surprised with is Environ, which is um, it's called Environ Skin Essential. Um, and I was really impressed with this one. Um, in fact, I was shopping the other day in Westfields and a lady came up to me and she goes, are you Dr. V? And I said, yes. And she goes, please, can you assess Environ for me? <laughs> so, um, here we go, we're doing a viral and it's actually, I've never heard of this brand. And I was, I love it when I find something that is great for skin of color um, and I can recommend. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. So that is a product that I like. So for me, I needed an antioxidant serum that was anti-aging, that was anti-pigmentation and brightening to the skin. So the ingredients that I wanted were retinol palmitate, niacinamide, tetrahexyl decalascorbate, vitamin E and coenzyme Q10, which is exactly what I put into the Power Antioxidant Serum. So this is now available from the Skincare by Dr. V website. And for me, it just has everything that I needed for my skin type. I may not have the same skin type as you, it's just if you have a similar skin, skin issues and concerns as me, then you will hopefully love the product. Right, don't forget, I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. Please do follow me on Instagram. I've got two accounts, Dr. Mita Rattan and Skincare by Dr. V, and also on TikTok, Dr. Mita Rattan too. And download your free guide. The link is down below. Uh, let me know what other videos I want me to make for you too. Thank you. Bye.